Hey, what up guys? It's Brandon here. Welcome back to some more Super Luigi Galaxy. So, in the last episode, we did Melty Molten Galaxy. Um, we were pretty much doing that for the... Well, we did, we did, um... We finished off Dreadnought Galaxy by doing the, um... Wait, well, I forget what we were doing. I think we were doing just the, uh... Were we doing the third mission? No, no, I think we did all that. I think, I think we just needed... I think we just had to do the, um... Yeah, we just had to do the Speedy Comet. That's right. We did that, and then we finished off Daredevil. I mean, no, um, Dreadnought Galaxy. And then, um, we began... Um, yeah, Melty Molten Galaxy. We pretty much began this galaxy where we were, um... We pretty much did the majority of, uh... Of, of the galaxies. We pretty much did the first two... Well, we, we, don't, we didn't do the third mission yet, but we did the first two mission main missions... We had to go and climb to the top of the mountain before the lava was rising and all that, as you guys can see right in the picture. Kind of, yeah, like, hold on. Let me just point this real, real quick. You kind of, you guys can see it on the top of this planet anyway, with all this, with this whole huge mountain right here. So, um, but it's, it's also, it's also in that picture right there in the top right corner right there. So, um, yeah, we basically had to do that, and then in the second mission was a real pain because we had to go and deal with um, meteors. And a bunch of thwomps and stuff, and then we had to go and deal with the bullet bill, and it was it was a lot of kookiness. But um, and then we had to, we had to ride on that one ball that we had to ride on in Rolling Green Galaxy. But um, it was pretty t challenging. But then we did the um, we also did the Daredevil Comet where we had to go and uh, get through the first mission without taking damage at all. So it was not really a boss, but we had to go and get through that without taking damage at all. And then I think the Secret Star we had yeah we had to feed the Hungry Luma where we had to deal with we had to collect five silver stars. And the lava kept rising and sinking and whatnot. So it was pretty challenging, but we took care of all of that. So um, in this episode, we're going to pretty much finish off Melty Molten Galaxy by doing the third main mission. But first, before we before we get, the, get that started, so um, if you guys noticed at the beginning of this episode, you guys, you guys would be, you guys probably were expecting um, just two zeros right here, right? Now it just says 20. And you, if you guys are wondering why it says 20, um, well, it's because, well, what happened was this. We have we pretty much only have we only have to um, do that third main mission of Melty Molten Galaxy, and the Hungry Luma the Hungry Luma mission of the Garden, which um, the Hungry Luma's at the at the Garden now, which which he pretty much spawned um, off camera, because I had to fight the final boss. Why? Because um I had to fight him I had to fight him off camera, which is why you guys see a hundred stars right here. And um, pretty much, I had to do that so we could so we could trigger, we could activate the purple coin mission. As you guys can see, there's a purple coin mission waiting for us at the at Good Egg Galaxy. So that's what that's pretty much. I, I literally just did that off camera, so I kind of wasted some time. But it, yeah, um, let, let alone um, you know, I'm obviously watching my um, Mario Galaxy playthrough just to remember what I talked about and whatnot. So I pretty much, I wanted to explain that to you guys. So, um, yeah, we, 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 we can now pretty much access the purple coin missions. I was going to, um, I was going to just take care of everything. I was going to take care of the Hungry Luma mission and the third main mission of Melty Molten Galaxy first. And then I would, I would have fought Bowser off while the video was paused. And then I would, I was, I was going to be like, you know what, I'll, I'll be back guys or all that. But you know what, I'd rather just, I, I, it was better just to do it right before I started this episode or pretty much off camera, not before I even began this episode. And also, if you guys remember, um, we all, I'll get, I'll get right to it after, um, we take care of this. Let's, let's just go and get right into this, because we're now almost at four minutes. We already wasted so much time, but I wanted to explain that to you guys, and there's something else I need to explain, but first, we're, let's just go and enter the third mission, where we have to go, and, uh, we're going to be facing a, we're going to be facing a boss, so, and you, you guys will see what boss it is. You guys, I didn't show you guys yet, but it is Fiery Dino Piranha. So you guys remember we had to deal with him in Good Egg Galaxy, pretty much the first boss we've ever had to face. Now we're facing the fiery version. So here we go. But um, I want to apologize right before. So before we um, before I focus on the mission, I want to apologize for what um for last episode's audio. I did not I I did not know that the audio was going to be very crappy after I finished recording the video. So I, I thought I thought the episode because I, I thought the episode was perfect. Everything, everything was perfect and whatnot, but of course, of course, there had to be some complications with the audio, which usually it usually happens sometimes. And um, you guys remember I had I, ha I had that audio I had the audio situation like that happen to me, um, back in May, 
where um you know I was doing my new Super Mario Bros. Wii playthrough and I was I was I was at World Six. I had to do the whole, I had to do um the first half of World Six with the audio being so crappy and I I, re, I already knew about it because um I re, I found out that the audio was was really bad when I um pretty much when I uh, recorded Mario Kart online that week and then I I didn't know how to fix it but but the solution was to um pretty much restart my restart my phone but I didn't know that so. But at least now, I, I pretty much restarted my phone once I record after I finished recording the um the last e the last episode of this. So I I, 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 I highly apologize. I mean I, I deeply apologize for for what happened there. So the audio should be perfect now. If not, I'll be, I'll be roaring. But we, but we should be good. All right, let me go and get these. See, we got through that first part there. You know, with all those um, tiny platforms and stuff, that was kind of that was always pretty challenging. But anyways, here instead of collecting you know star chips and whatnot, we have to go and kill all these guys, which kind of sucks a little bit because of course they're such a pain to kill. Because of course they always have to hop in the lava just to regenerate themselves, so they have fire again. Because you guys know they they burn out like that. Okay, there should be one more around here, right? Yep, that sh that should be the last one. And he falls in the lava, and now he's coming back up like that. Alright, right, right this right this way, buddy. Right this way. And get over here. Yep. And boom! There we go. So now there's the launch star. Let's go and get that. So then once we're done with this and the Hungry Luma mission, we can go and um, pretty much begin the Purple Coin mission, and that's pretty much all we have to do. And yeah, that's that's pretty much why I have 100 stars, because the 100th star I got was pretty much the, the final grand star of the game. That was pretty much the final grand star we got, which was when we beat Bowser. Okay, well, we gotta watch out for these. These this fire always sucks. And I'm really about to die, so let's go and um Alright, let's go and let's go and grab grab that um There's a there's a life shroom around here, so let's go I wanna grab that real quick. Hopefully and sur hopefully survive. Okay, you know what? Let's let's just come on. See this sucks. Like Luigi just has to keep backflipping every time I, I ask him to long jump. Alright, get that. So we, so that way we have a higher chance of not dying, of course. Alright, you know what? Just just do that. Alright, there. And... Now we're done. Alright, well, it's, it's it's all good. It's all good. Of course, of course, we failed really bad there a little bit. But at least, at least we got a checkpoint here. It, it just sucks in this game that you don't, you don't know when you get a checkpoint. Because guys, I'm pretty sure you guys know in Mario Galaxy 2 and, well... It, it all started in New Super Mario Wii, where um, they have checkpoints. They all you do is just touch the flag and you get a checkpoint. But yeah, before that, we didn't even know in this in this game. Plus, New Super Mario Bros. DS was the last game that came out before this game. So, and I mean, at least New Super Mario Bros. DS told you when you get a checkpoint because because here you you didn't even know when you got a checkpoint. I mean, I guess it makes sense considering that um, the first New Super Mario uh, no the, the original Super Mario Brothers. You didn't know when, when you were getting a checkpoint anyway. But that was the first Super Mario Bros. At least Super Mario World, it, it actually told you when you were going to get a checkpoint. I don't know, it just, it just kind of bugs me that Super Mario Galaxy... Um, the first Super Mario Galaxy never really done this type of uh, concept. So at least at least um, Super Mario Galaxy 2 fixed that problem and it showed that you could get a checkpoint just like that. So, now we got all the star chips. Let's go and get to that um, launch star. Oh, god dang it, of course. Alright. Yeah, and pretty much that life stream is going to really come in handy, because now we're pretty much about to fight Petey Dino Prime. I think. And wait, no, we gotta go We gotta go through here first. And then, yeah. And then after that, we'll be done. Yeah, because that one Luma has, has, all, has all the goodies. But obviously, we got the life stream, so we, we, don't, we won't really need the, um... Dang, we already got over a hundred of these. Over a hundred on um, star bits now. Okay, I don't really need you, so. And now, it's time to take on Fiery Dino Prana. So, um, the only difference about this, um, about Fiery Dino Prana is apparently his tail gets on fire, and pretty much we gotta hit him, hit his tail when it's burnt out. That's pretty much what makes what makes Fiery Dino Prana much more difficult than regular Dino Prana. Oh come on, I was so close to hitting that. Might as well, might as well just get get the uh Oh come on now. Alright, hold on, give me a second. Dang it. 
can't get it. Oh my goodness, I can't even... Come on, look at this. Look how difficult it is trying to just... All I'm trying to do is initiate a battle here. I'm trying to... Oh, come on, now I lost my freaking... Oh my god, really? I didn't even start the battle yet, are you kidding me? Alright, just hit it now. God dang. Because he moves so freaking quick. And you can't even... I couldn't even start the battle with him yet. And of course, I already lost my, um... Life stream. Maybe I should have got the, um... You know, I, I didn't know, so you know what? So yeah, pretty much same concept. You just got his tail when it's all burnt out. Even even when he's attacking you, so just do that. But then it, it gets it gets much more difficult here. Oh, look at that. I guess he, he did like some kind of spin, which he, he didn't really did that. He Excuse me. He didn't really do that when it was regular Dino Piranha, but... And then he, he leaves like a trail of fire. Oh god dang it! Here, yep, here we go. This, this, this is where the ultimate hunt tree begins. Oh look at this! Like stop. Can I just get my coin? Yeah, the fiery dino planet always sucks. Look how quick his tail. Well, um, yeah. Like come on. Man. Come on! I'm wasting star bits right now. All right, please. Yes. All right, you're done. You're done. Oh wait, I got him one more time. I forgot. And now he's gonna be shooting fireballs. Gotta watch out for that. They really try to make this boss as tough as possible, though. Look! Look how quick the tail is. Man, that tail so the tail lights up and goes out so quick. And look at that. I couldn't even get time to actually. At least it goes out. At least it goes out quickly too. But like, dang, you gotta like really be quick with it. It's pretty much the whole, the whole um strategy here. You just gotta be quick. You just gotta know when the tail's gonna go out. Yeah, like that. You just got, you have to know where he's gonna go. So why, you have to know where he's gonna go, but at the same time, you have to like make sure you're you're about to hit him at the right moment. Like you guys saw right there, that was just that was just pure luck right there. I, didn't, I it, it was tough to know how to get him because see, you guys saw he was he was so quick. So not only he's quick, but it's like his tail just goes off and on and off and on and off like so quickly. Alright, but now we're pretty much officially done with Melty Molten Galaxy for now until we do the purple coin mission. Because obviously we're not fully done with this galaxy just yet. But we're done with it for for just a, maybe a couple episodes. But there we go, now I got 101 um, stars. So, yeah, and... Yeah, so pretty much, yeah, you guys saw obviously the final... I had to do the final boss off camera. That was the only star I pretty much got off camera in this entire playthrough, and it was the hundredth star. So, if you guys if you guys are kind of disappointing disappointed about that, well, I apologize, guys. But all right, so now let's go and do the Hungry Luma mission. Pretty much the final Hungry Luma mission of this game. So, I don't know if this is gonna be the last Hungry Luma mission we're gonna be feeding, but um, we'll see. But here you go, it's time to feed him all of these star bits. Six, 1,600 of them. At least, yeah, at least I have so many of them, so. And now, transform! I tried to do it as best as I could a little bit, just because, like, like what, what if what if this is the last uh, Hungry Luma mission we're going to be doing in this playthrough? I mean, Hungry Luma, um, we're going to be feeding in this game, in this playthrough anyway. So, by the way... This mission really sucks. I, I swear. Like, I, I was having so much trouble with this mission in my Mario Galaxy playthrough. It's Star Bunnies in the Snow. So, um... You'll, you'll see why this really sucks. And honestly, I still... I, I, I can't believe I'm, I'm coming back to this mission. That's how much I hate this mission. Just realizing that I'm coming back here just to... Uh, revisit this hell. This, this is pure hell right here, though, honestly. So hopefully, um, things go well, but if not, then, but there you go, just had to, you know, grab the shell there just to open that, but let's play chase. Can you catch all of us, can you catch us all before the time runs out, boy -oing? Yep, not only you have to catch all three of these bunnies, but you also have to do this under a time limit. I mean, it looks like they give you all this time, but guess what, it's not, it's not as easy as you may think. So, um, the best solution is to pretty much, uh, well, first of all, the snow is what, the snow is what really, really makes me fail here. It's pretty much the worst thing in this mission, honestly. It's pretty much the whole reason why I can't really be able to catch these bunnies and stuff. It's, it's the, that's the worst part about this mission, just trying to catch the bunnies. Because look, the snow really slows you down. 
Oh, how? Oh, that's cuckoo. That, that's kind of cuckoo that I just stepped on it and, and it just turned off again like that. All right, come on, move, move. All right, we gotta hit this switch now too, and then this would open this door, okay, just like that. And we're gonna need this. We're gonna need this uh fire flower so we could take take down all these uh. Yeah, we gotta take down all of this. Yep, and there's one of the bunnies there. So I know, I know, so I know, I know where, um, I mean, I mean, I found, I found that bunny, but I know where all these bunnies are, though. There's one bunny in particular, I can't remember where he, where he's at. I think he's somewhere in the snow. I, I, I just forget where exactly he's at. So it's gonna be tough to find him, but I think he's in one of those, like, little cracked holes that you guys saw right there. All right. And the best solution to catch these bunnies is, is so they can go inside these uh, little little holes right here that he that he just went in. But, um, hey everyone, run! Yeah, I caught you. So I caught the first bunny right there. But that's pretty much the that's pretty much the strategy. Just just lure the bunny, just chase the bunny as, and then once he goes in there, he's pretty much helpless, and you got it's easier to catch him like this. Oh, how annoying! Yeah, that's right. Oh my god, if I beat this on my first try, I'm gonna crap my pants. Alright, well, I don't think we're gonna, we're gonna need the, um... We're not gonna need that green shell anymore. So, let's go and, uh... Yeah, man, if I, if I do beat this on my first try, I'm, I'm gonna be so surprised. Alright. Wait a minute, yep. I think you're in there. Are you? Aren't you in here? No? Oh wait, that was the Koopa shell that spawned. That when it made when it made that pop noise. I thought it was the bunny. I thought the bunny was peeking out of a hole or something. I just I was like, wait, what? And now we're running out of time. Yeah, this part. See, I can't remember where this third bunny is. I think yeah, we we failed. Oh well. You know what? Can't do everything on the first try, right? I'll I'll accept this. But I remember I got so stressed out by this uh, mission in my Mario Galaxy playthrough. That's why. I, I hate this mission pretty much. You got practicing to do. No, I don't. I just I just can't find the third bunny. That's pretty much the that's pretty much the the only problem. So, but you know what? Practice makes perfect. So you know, doesn't you can't always beat everything on the first try like that. Or can I grab this, please? Thank you. All right. It's hard to do that sometimes. All right. But pretty much that's the whole strategy. Just chase the bunnies until they're in those ditches. You know where the you know where the fire flower was and all that, so that way they're they're pretty much they pretty much have nowhere to nowhere to run and then um yeah obviously they can't they can't jump out so if they jumped out that would that would have sucked real bad that would have made this thing that would have made this mission ten times harder than it has to be. Right, there we go. Yeah, my my first my first in, my first um action is to just set off all these uh, switches so that way it's easier to um. Yeah, so we can open up that area with the with the um, fire flower. So we, we we're gonna have to do that anyway. Oh wait, I, I I know I know where the last one. Yeah, we gotta hit. This is the last one. We gotta press like we did before. Yeah. All right, there we go. And then get the fire flower so we can go and um. All right, hold on. Is that bunny? All right. No, get in there. Come on. Dang it, didn't get in the hole. Alright, hold up. Oh, I could get him. I could get him like this. There we go. There. Good. Alright. I managed to catch the bunny without having him to go in the hole. And I think I, could, I might catch this bunny without going in the hole either. And obviously the worst part is actually trying to catch him when you're running in this um, s snow. Because of course you're going so slow because the, the snow always has to slow me down. So, Oh, wow. He almost went in there. He almost went in that, that ditch. That, yeah. Okay, wait, he's gonna go in this time. Yep, yeah, there we go. Alright. Oh wow, I just threw fire look it's like so it shows like I'm, I'm like it looks like I'm laying the laying the bunny on fire. That looks cuckoo. Alright, there we go. It, it just looks cuckoo that it looked like I was laying the bunny on fire. Alright, so there we go. Now Okay, there we go, we got him, we got him. This is the last one. Well we didn't get him yet, we have to catch him first, but we found we found the last bunny just like that. I was getting ready to find him, but there we go, found him. And now, boom, second try. All right, Eep, you're fast. Wow, second try after, it has been, a, it's been a while since I've done this mission too. Like, geez. I give up. Here, take this Power Star Boyoing. 
Yeah, there we go. All right. I don't, yeah, since you guys remember, yeah, you guys saw I almost beat this on my, fir on my first try, but of course I couldn't find the last bunny. That's pretty much the only issue, but there we go. Second try, not bad. This time, no stress, nothing. Cause you got, cause I pretty much that's what that's what I called the episode when I was doing this when I was doing that mission. I pretty much called the episode um, "Snow and Stress." I think it's my most popular um, episode um, of the playthrough. So, of course, cause apparently when it comes to look at that now it says Galaxy. Wait, no, never mind. No, I I, I thought I guess I thought cause probably because when I, whenever I, whenever I'm trying to see um. No, you know, you know, you know what happened? Cause like, when I, whenever I'm, cause for this episode, when I'm trying, I'm trying to expect, I'm trying to say like, oh, and we got all the galaxies, all, the whole galaxy completed for good at galaxy or something. Cause I thought we just did a purple coin mission. That's probably what I thought. Sorry, sorry, it took me a while to say, say that, but pretty much it took me. It just like, um, I just assumed that like, oh, we got all purple coin missions, so we completed the whole galaxy. But no, we just did that hungry Luma mission. So now we got all the Hongi Luma missions taken care of now for the like for the domes and all that. So there we go. All right, but now we're gonna be, be we're gonna pretty much begin the purple coin missions right here, starting with Good Egg Galaxy. So here it is, purple comet in orbit. Oh yes, it's it's about to go down now. So pretty much all we have to do now is pretty much do these purple coin missions and um the trial galaxies that I showed you guys that that um I meant I. I revealed to you guys before, so, but, um, sorry, I had a burp, but without further ado, let's go and begin this, how many minutes are we at, or right, around 21 minutes, so, purple coin omelet, so, it shouldn't take us this long, it shouldn't take us too long to, to do this mission anyway, this one, this one's quick and easy, actually, so, but if you guys get it, if you guys get, um, purple coin omelet, because obviously it's good at galaxy, so, I mean, you know, eggs, eggs are also, om can become omelets, that's pretty, that's pretty much the joke, <clears throat> or well, not the joke, but the I guess I guess kind of a pun a little bit. So yep, this is pretty much our first. It's kind of it's kind of our first official purple coin mission, but like we already did this in in the gate. At the you, you guys remember when we first got the red star power up? So yeah, pretty much all we have to do is just do this, and we 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 have to um, also um, go through all of these uh. Um, launch stars too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep every time I see a launch star, I'm just gonna go and just keep hitting hitting it. Keep going going to the yeah. I'm just gonna just keep spinning and every time I every time we try to try to uh, pass through a launch star, I'm just gonna just spin and just yeah. Because you know you get to pass a launch star and when it comes when it comes to this galaxy, you don't, you don't have to like go and in, go into every launch star. You can just go and pass it and then you can land on one of the one of the planets. But I'm, I'm gonna just keep do, yeah like here I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just spin through here I'm not gonna go down to that planet over there. See so this yeah like I said this is quick and easy. See now we're on this planet now because you guys saw there, there was purple coins here but we and we, we kind of skipped them but that's because we were gonna come back here anyway. All right but we gotta dodge all these uh, rocks so that's pretty much the only challenge here but I think that's all of them here right? Yeah oh yeah that's definitely all of them now. Here. Look at that. We only need 20 more. See, it, this this one this one was pretty quick. But wait till we get to Honey Hive Galaxy. That one that one's kind of that one's kind of um. It takes a little while to take care of that though. But um. It's it should it should also be pretty quick too. So let's go through here and then this should be it. This should be all the um. Yep and boom. See, that's all we had to do. We just had to go through all these launch stars and yeah, it's it's, it's very simple, pretty much. That's all we had to do for this purple coin mission. That's pretty much why I, I, I always I always love this purple coin mission. It's one of my favorites just because of that. Just because of this. You don't you don't really gotta do much to get to get the purple coins anyway. So but there we go, we got the purple coins that good egg galaxy and now um next up will be Honey Hive Galaxy. But however, um What kind of sucks is that the the um the purple coin the purple comets don't appear um where if like where we're trying to go next like it doesn't it doesn't appear where um yeah look see there's no purple coin there's no purple comet honey hive galaxy which we're trying to we're trying to do that next since we're yeah we have to, we're at 24 minutes we got time might might as well you know so let's, we're gonna go talk to this luma so he can spawn the purple coin the purple comet there so I don't think we ever talked to him yet have we. 
I don't know, let's just go and yeah, move it. Want, want to move that prankster comet? Well, have I got a deal for you. Right now, for only 20 pow it's 20 star bits, um, I'll find it somewhere else. I'll fling it somewhere else, I meant. I don't know why I thought it said find. Okay, let, let me have it. At least it's only 20 star bits instead of like, you know, like 1600 star bits like that one. Yeah, that, that Hungry Luma must have been real hungry for all those star bits though. Ooh, delicious. Now that I'm all happy and full, I'm feeling a little more more motivated. Ahem, <clears throat> snick, snackity, sn wait, snackity, snackity, snackily diddly doo. So we'll, we'll, be, we'll be talking to him every now and then, and there we go. We got the um, purple comet right over there at Honey Hive Galaxy. And yeah, oh yeah, and, and, and now now I can say that we got all, we, we completed, um, we, we have fully completed Good Egg Galaxy, by the way, so. I hope that's what you wanted. Next time you need some comments mixed around, come ask me. Yep, so that, that's all I want. All I want is Honey Hive Galaxy to be, um, yeah, pretty much, um, have the purple comet there. But yeah, this is literally our first major comet that we have ever completed in this playthrough. So there it is. Good egg galaxy since we had to take care of the purple coin mission. Now with that, now that we got that taken care of, let's go move on to Honey Hive Galaxy's purple coin mission. And then after we complete this, we'll pretty much have the terrace all completed. Since these are the only two major galaxies, and obviously no minor galaxy has a purple coin mission. That, that, that would have been too cute. Alright, so let's go and do this, and then after this we'll be done with this episode. So, um, yep, the Honey Hive's Purple Coins. So this will take, like, I guess I'm gonna assume, like, maybe 10 minutes or something. But, um, like, they're all scattered everywhere, so it'll take a little while, but, um, these are, these are the only, these are the types of Purple Coin missions that are kind of mind-numbing and very time-consuming as well. So, kind of sucks a little bit. And just, just wait till we get to Sea Slide Galaxy's Purple Coin mission. That... It ha that has to be the longest, the most time-consuming purple coin mission I've I've ever even had to deal with before. It takes a while to get all purple coins. So if I, if I'm trying to get somewhere where um like it's uh, yeah like like anywhere anywhere in, um yeah when it comes to this oh god dang I can't even do a triple jump but like um if there's a place I'm trying to if there's a specific location that takes a while to get to. So I get, so I can get some specific purple coin missions. I'll, I'll just pause the video until we get all the way over there. I'll get those, I'll get those purple coins um later, but um, because apparently I can't really do a triple jump just to get over there. I don't know why I can't, but I guess I can't. Wait, hold on. Before we get over there, it's going on. Oh, we got the um, got the, got the Mario's. Oh, come on! I didn't see that. All right. Wait, well, yeah, of course the camera, I had the camera switch, so of course the, all right. Or oh, come on. All right, here we go. All right. All right, so. But um, it does take a little while to get these, so just to save some time, I might I might have to pause the video even um at some look some parts. All right, come on. All right, come on. Dang it. Okay, this is tough. All right. I don't know why I was having so much trouble with that, because obviously it's possible to get up there just to get that purple coin. So, and obviously, um, well, pretty much, um, the the purple coins that we had to collect at the gate, that was the only time we were able to collect them with, uh, you know, the red star. Because you guys, you guys know, when when, you, when we have the red star, you could just suck the um, whenever you do a spin, the um, the purple coins will just come right to you. Well, if they're too far away, then that's it's not gonna work like that, but. But, but that's pretty much the only time we were able to use the red star for the purple coins. The only purple coin mission we had to deal with that includes a red star. So pretty much for the, for the rest of these purple coin missions, we're not going to have that um, luxury where we have where we can actually become a purple coin magnet. All right, come on. There we go. We have to actually collect them like this, and that's it's going to be tough. But you know what? It'll 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 all be worth it in the end. There we go. All right, well. Man, I talk so much now, but you know what? Let's go and do a backflip up here. God dang it! All right, you know, at least I got that purple coin. But I want to, I want to actually grab pound all of these, like this. There you go. Dang, look at we got all these purple coins already. I mean, no, not not all. No, we only have 29 purple coins. We're not even halfway. We're barely halfway. We're only a quarter. We only got a quarter of them so far. So. Alright, there we go. 
But yeah, they're they're obviously yeah, like I said, they're scattered all over the place, so it's 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 kind of confusing of where to go first. But I just I just go whenever wherever I um. It's kind of tough to figure out sometimes because like your your brain your brain's like in the middle of the process of where you want to go. It's like all of a sudden like oh I want to go I want to go this way, and then all of a sudden you see all those purple coins at another location. And you want to go you change your mind and you want to go that way instead. That's that that's what kind of sucks a little bit, but you know what. All right, let's go and take this pipe and let's go. Um, let's go this way. Let's go and grab these here. These uh purple coins. All right, just like that, good. This 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 is kind of risky because, yeah, what happens is, you guys see how many purple coins we got? We got forty three. Well, if you die in any type of way, no matter how many purple coins you have, if you die, you gotta start all the way over again. The game doesn't care if you have like what if you got like 98 um, purple coins and you got and you spent like what um 45 minutes or something trying to get trying to get um all those um they're, they're still gonna punish you no matter what so it's, it's it's very punishing but you know what it is what it is so yeah you gotta start all over again no matter how many purple coins you have and look at this right here this this is kind of well this is not really the only strip this is not the only way to get those purple coins but it's kind of easy to get those a little bit because all you all you gotta do is just keep jumping and doing a spin just to get all those there's another way you could get down there by the way because you guys see that door is closed so we can't really go there yet I mean we can't really go through that way you'll see how we gotta go through there but let's go and get these and yeah we're at, we're definitely we're now more than halfway done so see it didn't take us too long to get all these I don't know how many all right we're at 31 minutes so. Gotta kind of hurry and get this done a little bit, but, um, all right, you gotta get out of here with that. Oh, hey, what, what's up, guys? Gonna suck up all my brain juice? Nah. Not, not gonna do that. All right, should I do a triple jump again? All right, we got, let's go, let's go this way. Hold on. I think we, we got, we pretty much got everything taken care of here. We just gotta go, we gotta go on this other direction. Or maybe, maybe there is some other stuff we have to take care of, but hold on. Give me a second, guys. I would pause the video now, but it, it, it shouldn't take too long to get over here. But yeah, this fine. Let's just go over here and just get this. Plus, we didn't really. Yeah, here, here we go. We gotta go get all these ones over here. Oh yeah, and we have we have to go down there and get those. You know, we'll, we'll go we'll go down there and get those last, I guess. Those three purple coins that we try to get right off the bat. Because now we, we're gonna go this way. All right, and then yeah, you know, do this whole thing here, and then um, just like that. Hold on. Oh, come on. Yep, it's me, the famous Gill Board. If you want to climb this wall, you better listen up. When you stick the, to the wall after, or yeah, I, I know this. Right, I'm not gonna read that. See, so, like I was trying to, I, and I was trying to jump as well, but. If, that's what kind of sucks. Like I, I was trying to jump there, but of course the, I I, acc I accidentally talked to the sign, and, and somehow the the sign talked to me. Like like how 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 how, how can a sign talk? It's kind of, it's kind of cuckoo. All right, there we go. Now I got those um purple star purple coins. I was about to call them purple stars for some reason. Oh wait wait, no, don't go there. All right, come on. All right, there's this purple coin here. Let's grab that. Might as well grab all these ones that are up here. Yeah, all right, you know, screw that one. Yeah, we got all these, um, all these purple coins here, though. Oh, crap, come on. All right, give me a second. Yeah, you see how long this kind of takes, though? It's kind of, it's pretty time-consuming, I know, but... All right, oh, yeah, and here's this part right here. So here's how you, here's, here's how you go over here, um, another way. Wait, is it this way? No, wait. Oh yeah, we didn't even go this way yet. Yeah, just like that. Hold on. All right, then we're over here. Yeah, we're, see, we're almost done. See, it didn't take us too long to get all these a little bit. I mean, just I mean a little bit, but I, yeah, I thought I thought I was gonna I was gonna have to um pause this video until I get to somewhere, but it doesn't really take too long to get to many of these locations. But well, Sea Slide Galaxy, that's gonna be a whole another story. And you'll see, you'll see, um, what happens there and all that. 
I haven't, I haven't even paused the video at all this episode, surprisingly. I thought I would need to, but I guess not. We'll see. However, if I do die, which I hope that doesn't happen, then that'll be a, that'll be a whole... Alright, can I, can I do this with, um, while walking up there? Walking up this hill? Nope, that's not gonna work at all. I wanna try to get back up there, but I don't think that's gonna, that's gonna really work. There's some more, there's some more purple coins over there, but... Game really doesn't want me to go over there right now. Okay, I'm really hoping I don't, okay, good. Alright, what other purple coins are we missing around here? Let's, let's go and take a little, little look around a little bit. Okay, there's one over there. Let's just go and get these ones, and then, um... Oh, wait, 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 there's one, there's three of them here. Very right, good. I was about to be hunched and not get these. Alright. Yeah, and I think after that, we'll have, like, 95 purple coins. And how did I miss that one? No. Oh, great. Okay, we'll go back and get that. We'll go back and get it, but, um... I guess after we get, after I get this one purple coin that's up here, where I have to go and swing like here, there's one coin, it's like, it's like we got a regular coin here and then a purple coin on the other side. Alright, now I think this is a good place to pause the video, so I will see you guys, um, in a little bit once we, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys when I'm back up to, on the top of the, um, you know, that whole tap, the whole hill and everything. Alright guys, we're back up here because there's, yeah, because there's another way you could go inside, um, you guys know we couldn't get we couldn't get go through the um you know the whole uh hold on I forget where it was exactly I think it's right here isn't it it's hard to, it's hard to know where it, I forget there's it should be somewhere around here wait a minute maybe it's maybe it's over here but there should be more there's more purple coins somewhere I just can't remember where it is exactly I think I think it is back here I can't I can't really remember now I don't recall. Maybe it is, maybe it is somewhere over here. Yeah, yeah, they're down there. There it is. Let's just hope. All right, good. Yeah, see? You had to go all the way over here, and it's kind of, it, see, like, that. that's kind of cryptic not knowing where this is, kind of. You just have to know exactly where it is. You have to, like, get a good glimpse of it before you jump down, or else you're going to all of a sudden end up, not, well, you're, I mean, maybe, if possible, kill yourself, but not quite. And look at that. We have one more purple coin to get, which is pretty much the one that was on that hill that we missed. You'll, yeah, it's, it's pretty much right. It's pretty much right at the beginning, obviously, you know You know the um Well, it's the Yeah, that that hill down there. There's the purple coin down there Just gotta go down there and get it, but um, it's not gonna be easy trying to do it like this, of course Oh god dang it It's pretty much. Oh wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> mm, get it. Come on. Ugh, come on. See that sucks. It's like it's like the, the hill like completely stops you, and you don't you don't get you don't get a chance to like. Oh wait wait wait. Oh yeah, I almost got it. This may take a little time, guys. This may take some time, but look, I'm like right to, right near it. All right. Well, I'll catch you guys when I'm on the other side of this hill, so I can slide down and get that purple coin. All right, guys, just like that, we're on the other side of the hill, and now let's go and grab this. Oh, if you don't, if you miss this, all right, good. <laughs> I was, I was about to be the hook. I was about, I was about to kind of be, I was gonna kind of be hunched a little bit, missing that. All right, now we got that purple coin, and there we go. So now we got all the purple coins in Honey Hive Galaxy, and that pretty much concludes the terrace, which means we will never be going back to this um, dome. We're, we'll, we'll never be going back to Good Egg Galaxy. We're pretty much done with that galaxy, and Honey Hive Galaxy. So we're pretty much officially done with those galaxies for this for this playthrough. See, whenever a galaxy is completed, we're pretty much done. We're never we're never coming coming back to those. So, but um, yep, it was a fun ride, um, terrace, but yep, took care of it. So that that pretty much concludes the terrace for this for this whole playthrough. So um, pretty much um, I'm gonna end off this episode here for you guys. So I thank you for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. And in the next episode, we're gonna, we're gonna go and uh complete the fountain by doing the purple coin missions on um, there um in, yeah which is uh space junk galaxy and battle rock galaxy you gotta do the purple coin missions there then afterwards we're gonna be doing the purple coin missions at the kitchen such as ghostly galaxy and beach bowl galaxy and then you know so on we're gonna keep going on from there and that's pretty much all we have to do and then and then and then once we have nine 117 power stars we're gonna get the last three um we're gonna, get, we're gonna get the last three power stars. Yeah, over there. The trial galaxies. So we'll be doing that. 
That'll be the last thing we'll be doing, well, before we fight the final boss. And, um... Oh, crap. Well, also, um... Just like I did in my Mario Galaxy playthrough, before we before we fight the final boss on camera, I want to also, um, you know, do the Rosalina story. I want to do all that. We'll, we'll, we'll be doing that. Like re like we're gonna be we're gonna be um reading her story like I did in my Mario Galaxy playthrough, because I I kind of want to do it again. So, but see, there's that. This is how many stars we need to free pretty much hundred percent this game. Sixteen stars. And overall, this was a pretty good episode. Uh, yeah, 40 minutes, but you know what? It was worth it in the end. So, you know, took care of uh, took care of Melty Molten Galaxy, and um, you know, did the Hungry Luma mission for the uh, Garden, and then we pretty much got started with the Purple Coin missions. So, with Good Egg Galaxy and Honey Hive Galaxy. So, overall, it was worth it, and all that. So, but overall, hope you guys enjoy this episode. Um. There may be, may or may not be a video this weekend, but if there is, stay tuned, and um, I will see y'all next time, guys. Be sure, be sure to subscribe, like my videos, and if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, yep, uh, thank you guys for watching, and yeah, like I said, <clears throat> like I said, I'll see y'all next time.